What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am back with another piercing related video, pros and cons of a conch piercing. Now one of you guys asked me on Snapchat to do this particular video and as I've said before and I will always say, I love doing the videos that you guys want me to do. So it's totally stoked to do this video, but let me just say, I am not going to be doing pros and cons for every single piercing I have. Um, I don't think I need to do a pros and cons on like a nostril piercing or pros and cons on like a low piercing. Um, I personally think that's a bit ridiculous, so... Please don't ask me to do pros and cons on those types of piercings because I think that that's just, like I said, it's a bit ridiculous and not needed at all. Um, but, you know, I, I love, like, watching, like, piercing-related videos and stuff like that. I just think it's interesting to see, like, other people's opinions, especially, like, with pros and cons. So I'm totally stoked to do this video. And if you aren't familiar with what a conch piercing is, it is this little guy right there. Now, I don't think I've ever mentioned this before. But mine is more of an outer conch piercing as opposed to an inner conch piercing, which obviously just sits more in the little crevice of your ear. Um, I like having mine where it is. Um, that's obviously where I told my piercer to put it. All right, then I'm going to stop rambling and get right into the pros. Pro number one, the jewelry options for this particular piercing are endless. Now you can wear CBRs, which are captive bead rings if you're unfamiliar. Um, but I would recommend, and most piercing, uh, piercers will too, recommend staying away from those until your piercing is more fully healed. I got a CBR when I first got mine pierced. I love the look of a CBR in it, especially like where mine's located. I just, I loved it. Um, but it just wasn't good um, for it, like healing and everything like that. But you can get those. You can get curved barbells. You can get straight barbells. You can get labret studs. The jewelry options are really endless in my opinion. And then since piercings are becoming more common now, there's so many companies out there making awesome jewelry and like high quality jewelry and like with beautiful stones and opals and just all this, you know, cool stuff. So like I said, the jewelry options are endless and you can really like dress this piercing up if you want to or you can keep it low key. Pro number two, this piercing can be easily hidden. Now obviously it's located in your ear so it's not like sticking up on the sides or anything like that. So it can just be completely like hidden if you need it to hide it for like work or something. You can just cover it with your hair if you want. My hair is crazy right now, so it's not really wanting to. Um, or if you want to like have it even more hidden, then you can get smaller um, jewelry. I personally kind of like a bulkier style of jewelry in this one. As you guys can see, the stone is quite noticeable. Um, so if you want, you can get a smaller uh, top put on. So it'll, like I said, be more hidden. Pro number three. With this piercing, there's a very low chance of migration or rejection. I think a lot of that has to do with just the thick cartilage in it. Um, and that, you know, even if it does migrate a little bit or what have you, it, there's so much room for it to go, but then it's like cartilage, so it's like thick and hard. Ha ha ha. Um, but, so it's not really going to migrate or reject. Um, it'll get angry. I mean, it can definitely get angry and irritated. I've had that before with it, but it won't really migrate or reject. Pro number four, in my opinion, it is one of the most like unique and cute piercings um, out there right now. Now, I I love all my piercings. You guys know that I love it. But I really do enjoy this conch piercing because I just, like I said, I think it's cute and it's fun and it's just kind of like unique and I don't know. That's just my opinion. Pro number five and my last pro is that it really won't get in your way. Now, with the exception of your hair getting caught on, if you have long your hair like myself, um, I really have to like deal with my hair getting like caught around it and everything on the back um if you're wondering I just have a small straight barbell put in so it'll get wrapped around the ball um on the back but it's not anything too bad and I really just have to go like that and it's you know done being wrapped around it so it really won't get in your way because obviously it's on more of the inner part of your ear so sleeping on that side um on that ear it won't really irritate it too much depending on the drawer you have in. If you have a CBR put in, then I recommend not doing that. Um, I know that from personal experience. So it really won't get in your way. Con number one seems a bit scary, but please understand this would only be in instances where you didn't go to a very clean and professional piercer. Maybe you did it yourself or you just don't take care of the piercing. You don't clean it. Um, maybe your hygiene's a little lack, like, you know, just stuff like that. So please understand, con number one that I'm about to tell you guys is not going to happen to everyone or mostly anyone with this piercing. So don't freak out. Con number one is due to the thick layers of cartilage, because there's, I mean, if you guys really feel in that area, there's thick cartilage there um, and there's multiple layers of it. 
So that can mean a higher risk of infection um, and that can also result in the cartilage being eaten away forever. Now, like I said, please don't freak out and think that that's going to happen to you. Um, that's only, you know, really if you're not taking care of it, um, like I said before, or your piercer wasn't very good, very sterile, whether it was somebody else or yourself. So please don't think that that's going to happen to you because it really, honestly, it won't. Con number two is that this particular piercing can actually take longer than a year to heal. Now, a lot of times people will say six months to a year for a piercing to fully heal. Um, and with this particular piercing, that might not actually be true. It might actually be a bit longer than a year just because of the thick cartilage. And cartilage doesn't have the same, um, obviously, build up as tissue does or the makeup of tissue, um, if you will, because cartilage is right next to bone in the sense of density and like what it's made out of and everything like that. So it's much harder for cartilage to heal as opposed to tissue. Um, like if you were to get your earlobe pierced, that's going to heal fast. But cartilage, um, especially thick cartilage like that, it, w it will probably take a bit longer to heal. Now that may not be true for everyone. I've said this before and I will say it again. You know, some, some bodies will heal much faster and others will heal much slower. I fall on the slower side of that. Um, but yeah, so just know that it might actually take a bit longer than a year to heal. Con number three is that this piercing, on when you're initially getting it pierced, might actually hurt more than other piercings. Um, I, I mean, it's thick cartilage, so I think that that's pretty self-explanatory, but some people don't actually realize that it can definitely hurt a lot more um, because of the like thickness of the cartilage. Because, I mean, if you feel your ear cartilage right here, it's, it's still thick, but it's a lot thinner than that cartilage. So please just know it might hurt more on the initial piercing. Con number four, which I've t I kind of touched on in the pros, is that long hair easily gets caught in it. Now I said, it doesn't really, I mean, bother me too much. Like I said, I just have to go like that. And for the most part, it'll, you know, just unwrap around it and it's fine. Um, but if that's really something that bothers you, then maybe this piercing isn't for you or keep your hair out of the way of it or something like that. Um, and also, if you are like, if this piercing is brand new on you and it's still very much healing, you definitely want to keep your hair away from it just because you want to keep that area as clean as possible and anything that's around it as clean as possible as well. Also, it depends on the droid too. I should have said that. Um, with your hair getting caught on it, it depends on the droid. Now, if you have a CBR and your hair's not really going to get caught on it, um, and I really can't think of any other droid that wouldn't get caught on it. So I guess if you have a CBR in, then the droid won't get caught on it. But if it's anything else, honestly, the droid probably will get caught on it. Alright guys, so that was it for my pros and cons on a conch piercing. I hope this video was helpful for any of you who are interested in getting this piercing. Or, I don't know, maybe you're just bored and wanting to watch a video. I don't know. But yeah, I hope it was helpful. And if you want to follow me on any of my social media, feel free to check down in the description box. That's where all of that is, along with my playlist for all my other piercing-related videos. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. And hopefully, you'll check out my next one.